Trigger warning, this is going to talk about the exploitation of children by monsters who are normalizing, some words I can't say on YouTube, so I'll say map love behavior. Look that word up before you watch. It uh, has nothing to do with cartography. It's the acronym. Cancel Netflix. It's worse than you imagined. The bug men love, love, love cuties. I will provide these archives links. This is The Telegraph by that guy I just showed you. Cuties Netflix Review, a provocative, hmm, that's an interesting word, powder keg for an age terrified of child s- what the f- <laughs> How did you write this with this? Uh, how did this get past an editor? Clips have come out from Cuties, but I am not downloading them because they are, how do I say this? They show children doing things that only adult whores do. I'm not exaggerating. The girls are 11 years old. I will include a car- uh, archive links to uh, all these relevant threads. People say that they don't want to see this type of stuff. I don't blame you, but that is just being an ostrich with its head in the sand. Evil exists whether you observe it or not. If you don't fight these parasitical monsters, they will breed. Every year the cancer of these people grow. They they take more and more ground. They write articles that say, This is the film that is outraging Republicans and Christians. Those evil conservatives not wanting to sexualize children. Hans, get the flamethrower. The articles that love the movie don't show the explicit images. It's just walls of text with pictures of the uh, director and producer. Odd, if the film is so stunning and brave, why don't you show the pictures of the 11-year-old children miming sex acts? The director and producer are uh, the P word that means the people who hurt children. They produce and distribute content of sexual images of underage people that meets the legal definition. So no, this is not defamation to call them such. The articles that defend it explain it by saying that... Oh, and I'll provide the link to the recent uh, court holding for the six-part test that defines that word. They explain it by saying that the cover chosen for the American version was the problem. The cover showed the children dressed like whores dancing like whores on a stage in front of perverts, which is exactly what is in the film. The cover image is not made up of images not found in the film. They're taken from the film. The cover is an accurate representation of the content. It is a pornographic content. Their purported goal is to bring attention. We just want to spread awareness. Yeah, you're doing it. You're you're spreading awareness of something. Um, yes, you are. Yes, you are. We just want to bring attention to the sexualization of children. I'm just saying, Madam Guillotine, by sexualizing children. That is what is known as the Kurt Eichenwald. I was only looking at ca- cartoon prawn to uh, prove it existed to my wife and kids. I'm totally not a P-E-D-O. Sure, Eichenwald. Nobody's accusing you of anything. But uh, check Epstein's flight visit logs. How well did Eichenwald know Dershowitz? The director, producer, choreographer, and most of the people involved in the film are evil. The kids were not doing gymnastics or fun, innocent, choreographed dance. They were dancing like strippers doing a primitive mating display. Mating dances are fine when the tribe has decided that they are ready to be married off. Spanish cultures have done similar uh, womanhood ceremonies at 15. Some Americans did them at 16. When life is rough and infant mortality is high, you need to make babies very early. But there are a couple of details to point out. 
people were getting paired off to start a family together, to join bloodlines and raise children who were part of the tribe. The girls weren't put on display in an Epstein-Weinstein fashion where they were used and exploited, then thrown away. Cuties is masturbation fodder for perverts who have no interest in marrying the girls and joining tribes together. They just want to pleasure themselves and move on. They don't care if the girls commit suicide later, which is exactly what many of the women go on to do. The people who run the adult film industry, people like Epstein and Jiswell Maxwell, are monsters in human skin. Don't even think of them as human. The women whose lives that they destroy are just commodities to be sucked dry and disregarded. Healthy, happy people are not making those videos. They're um, victims of childhood abuse. They are the vermin who control the industry. They're preying on the most vulnerable people. Women who were victims of child abuse. And men too, I guess. The women in this film are more likely to make adult films and eventually to kill themselves. The people who run the industry view the girls as cattle, not as fellow human beings. When a girl dies, it is of no more consequence to them than to the life of the cow that they just, just ate. Movies like Cuties are the leading edge of the wedge to lower the age of consent. The goal is Sodom and Gomorrah, pure filth and evil. These people want to destroy the West through corruption and decay, and they are winning. Okay, the framing of this Bugman article by Tim Roby. Terrified of child sexuality. They're 11. You, you, you Bugman. They're 11. We're not terrified of child sexuality. We'll talk it over with our own kids when the time is right. <laughs> We're terrified of bug men like you who are predators. Forget the moral panic. Well, here's the difference between our side and theirs. We have, this is why people need religion. They need something in their lives. They need some foundation. We have morals. We have a, a guideline. If everything is relative, then nothing matters. You'll do anything. You'll commit any atrocity. What is, if you can make people believe absurdities, you can make them commit atrocities? Well, if everything is relative, nothing counts. Nothing matters. It's all whatever you feel like doing. And someone pointed out on Twitter today that this is a, the slippery slope started a long time ago with, well, it started a long time ago with the adult film industry being acceptable. And that, that became acceptable because of people who were on the courts, mainly on the Supreme Courts, but also on the lower courts. People who should not have had seats on the United States Supreme Court because they allowed this degeneracy. So no, it's not a moral panic, and we're not terrified we're we're rightfully concerned that there are monsters among us and they look a lot like you bug men perverts it's not it's not risque yes it's exactly what it aims to be they're 11 year old children and you people um you people are predators a uh, tricky line between marketing and exploitation caused a ruckus. <laughs> oh, those Christians. Oh, those conservatives. Those those uh, puritanical fuddy-duddies. Uh, case of cuties, a wild future, blah, blah, blah. Then a poster happened. Yeah, let's blame it on the poster. Like I said, it was stuff from the film. This was an image cribbed, cribbed from the film's most openly provocative, provocative sequence, the finale, which, out of context, made everyone see how... How could it be in context? I'll include this link to the archive of a thread that this guy, Jim, uh, from Twitter, he put together clips from the show. The clips are, um, they're worse than you can imagine. They're fully dressed, but I'll describe some of the things they're doing. I mean, it's at the end of the video, so you're not going to, uh, you might not necessarily f listen to this all the way. Um. So the director says, I received numerous attacks on my character from people who had not seen the film, but now we, we have seen the film and we've seen the clips from it. They're, they're not out of context. There's no way you could put them in context. Who thought I was actually making a film that was apologetic about hypersexualization of children. 
it doesn't it doesn't matter the intent it matters the outcome you're uh you're a pedophile and i mean that in the legal sense or at least in the american legal sense you can i'll include this link you can play these links they're as bad as you imagine these are 11 year old girls who are using sexuality to get out of trouble um he describes he describes it uh some of the things that occur in the film Here's what also happens. An 11-year-old girl takes a photo of herself and posts it online. I saw that clip. She's uh, Her dad is trying to get into the bathroom. She runs to the bathroom. I guess the dad's trying to take the phone away. So she sits down. She pulls her pants down, underwear off, puts the camera between her legs, spreads her legs, 11-year-old girl, and takes a picture of herself and publishes it, sends it online somewhere to a guy or who knows. That was in the film. I'll, again, you can go watch these links. There was a time not too long ago when people would watch this, they'd lose their fucking minds. They would grab, they would grab liberty devices and uh, not do anything extreme. You would just you would just get these people out of your country. It, it, this was in France, but the director is African and the the producer is from Israel. You, I'm not saying you'd do anything extreme to them. You would just say, okay, you guys worked on the film. You're going to go to Africa, and you're going to go to Israel, and you're, you're forever banned from uh, <laughs> France. Forever. You're forever. I, and the other European countries should per, put you on a permanently permanent ban list. That's what a nation does. But, you know, Western Europe is not a nation anymore. We're not composed of nations. It's, it's commercial zones. Five-year-old girls take a turn at uh, making webcam videos. You can, if you're reading the screen, you can see what it says. A young girl tries to take a photo of a schoolboy's... A 11-year-old girl finds a used condom and blows it up. Netflix damage control tried to center the controversy on the poster, which they changed. But like someone said earlier, changing the poster actually made it worse because the poster they changed made it seem innocent. The original poster made it look like it was. A prurient inter interest in lascivious um, underage uh, degeneracy. Evil, pure evil. At least people knew what it was. Uh, so this is blowing up on Twitter because it is what you think it is. And I know like people just don't want to get involved in this kind of stuff. And channels aren't going to talk about this because it's it's it killed. This is a channel killer to talk about, but who cares? So um, I'll include these links. Check them off yourself, and um, you know, spread this around. All right, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all next episode.